So, did you know that in Estonia they got like a sport called wife carrying? So what? welcome to the Tequila Caps show. Um, this season finale. Season finale. Woo! This is it. This is the end of it. So, um, yep. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. So, um, we, as usual, it is Adam, it is Hugh, it is Fran, but we have a, a very special guest very today. Special Do you want to introduce guest. yourself? Hi, guys. My name is Katie, and I am a special guest. I'm very honored to be here. So, thank you for having me. Well, thank you very much for coming. So, we're going to go through a couple of different topics today, but I think the first thing that we should all probably have a chat about is music. Well, who the fuck is Katie? Sorry. Who, who is Katie? <laughs> More importantly, sorry, sorry who not even is music. Katie? Who, who are you, Katie? <laughs> How did you get in here? Talk to us. Give <laughs> well, us. Talk to us a little bit. Um, I am kind of a musician. Mm-hmm. Kind of. I play music with my sister, who is unfortunately not here today. That's good. That's fine. So I'm going to be representing the two of us. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> yeah. Our okay. duo is called Water's Edge. Perfect. And we'll leave the, the link to the description for your YouTube channel below yes. and any other social media. Yeah. Um, yeah so that's that's Katie. That's Katie. Hi, everyone. Katie. Hi, guys. Hi, Katie. Say hi, Katie. She's also in our course, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's also studying multimedia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's, yeah. that's convenient. How, what, that's convenient. what a coincidence. Yeah. yeah. It was a convenience for us, that's yeah. for sure. Um, so I think, yeah, you're right. We should just get like into me- music's going to be the theme you, today. That is the music. theme today, just, just so everyone knows. So maybe we'll go around the table. We'll kind of talk about what's our favorite genre, who's our favorite artist, why we like that genre, that kind of thing. Fran? You want to go first? I mean, I you have like been I, the, you've been the music girl. I previously. feel like I'm always starting. It's always me. Anyway, no pressure. I'm prepared this time. Do you want to actually. not start? We no, can no, go no. the other way. We can leave actually, it to the we can leave it to the manic <laughs> pothead in the Okay, garden. yeah. Okay, let's <laughs> go ahead. Actually, we'll start I'm the with manic you. Pothead. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Hugh. Then yeah, uh, go, Hugh. It's your turn, Hugh. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> um, I don't know. So, like, favorite genre that probably would be uh, like hip hop mm-hmm. or rap. Oh, really? Which, uh, yeah, really you, surprising for a you white don't. guy. You, you kind of, no, but you surprised. <laughs> no, I would have missed You were talking about skateboarding last week. Yeah. He, he was talking about skateboarding. I so like, I would imagine you'd be more kind of punk style music. I, I fuck with punk, but I like punk would not be like my top genre. Top genre has got to be like, yeah, definitely like hip hop or rap. Like that's, and, I don't know. I just, and who would be your influential group? Huh? Who's, who's? I don't know the jacket today. Uh, Brockhampton. Mm-hmm. Um, horrible war crime of a thing to like you know like brock anthem but Why? uh <laughs> is, it, is it like a meme and have you listened to the music <laughs> i mean i've listened to some I like of their songs it's, uh, no I it like is good songs. i really like i really like their music um but there's i mean there's so much um i listen to all types of music mm-hmm. which like is something everyone says but yeah like, generically I listen, yeah i like, listen to every. i listen to every kind of music but uh, i do i listen to hip-hop rap um pop uh, hyper pop for a little bit, which was a weird hyper weird time. pop. You want to explain to our audience? Hyper pop. Yeah. Um, Do you dare talk about it? Is it is so, it safe? <laughs> no, yeah, it's safe. It's um, it's like if you got like like all the you know stuff that you find all the all the kind of uh, what's the word like all the things you would find in like pop music. Okay. Uh, and then you got it all to do like a like a, a white mountain of cocaine. Oh. Yeah. So, Katie, what's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite music genre, and why? Well, I like every music. As mm-hmm. you said, everyone says that. You know. You know. <laughs> Get caught still, my thing. We default back to the first comment. Oh yeah, I'd say my favorite is probably really chill music or like really depressing music. I don't know why. I okay. just love it. And what what would you describe as chill or depressing music? Just like very slow and just very calm where you can you know you're just lying in bed and you're just literally gonna go to sleep mm-hmm. yeah like yeah. i'd literally go on a run and listen to sad music <laughs> okay all, just all the time but it's just good though running <laughs> yeah, yeah just crying and who knows is a sweat or tears um and who would be one of your favorite artists like within kind of like that that sad chill genre <laughs> Um, there's a guy called Novo Moore who I actually like. Oh, and you have <laughs> set something up in front. I know him. I was, Nobody literally about knows to, him. I was literally about to bring it up. I have a little, you know what? Apparently when we so. get to my side, I'll talk about mm, it. I love him. He's so good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I yeah. Don't know him. Okay. <laughs> Nobody knows him. Like no, none of my friends know him. It's like an he, underdog he's, artist. He's, he's really like really yeah. niche. You yeah. could say very, he's very niche. niche. A bit like uh, <laughs> Pixar. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Fran, why don't you continue on there? Because you had yeah. a... You had well, yeah, as what she was saying, I do love that, like, indie, like, chill music, like, that alternative stuff. I love it when I'm going to bed, like, Nova Amor, 
um, what's his name? Harrison. Oh my God, what's his name? I can't remember. But yeah, there's, you know. Katie, you know do you know who it is? Because like she looks at you being like, Harrison. <laughs> Harrison something. I don't I know. Don't so. Anyway, Harrison but um, <laughs> don't That's be like, That's sleep, who it is. like sleeping at last. and all. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know them. Yeah, I love them. And yeah, then, I know them. Uh-huh. If we're talking yeah, about, yeah. <laughs> if we're talking about just me normally. Dudes, like, <laughs> what the fuck? Um, <laughs> it's more, I would expect you guys to know more than I would. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, um, R&B music. I've said it before mm-hmm. is that that's my first love for me personally I love every type of R&B music like yeah. neo soul soul um, alternative R&B I love pop music mu- okay I like pop music as well like I like your generic artist like Ariana Grande I listen to Taylor she's Swift a great artist yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah I would say R&B is definitely it and I said it last week my favorite artist is oh no is it last week two weeks ago whatever well we'll keep it safe for work but i yeah. feel like r&b music is kind of very like sensual as well yeah. like you yeah. can use yeah. it for a lot of things very passionate music yeah know? can we do can we do a sidebar real quick and just say fuck ed sheeran <laughs> why fuck What's ed sheeran? No, everyone no. hates ed sheeran fuck he just strums us a guitar and but the thing i find with it like it's formulaic all his music is like like the exact same you see the pattern but Ed Sheeran uh, is the male Taylor Swift. Yeah. Yeah. No, but like, but like, nothing appealing there though. Like Taylor Swift, <laughs> there's something appealing there. There's emotional. Yeah. Damage. Well, Ed Sheeran is a bit like. <laughs> I would, Ed I would a bit say like Ron his Weasley. later work, like his last, he just released an album recently. I didn't listen to that, but I would say like his earlier stuff for like Plus and Multiply. Yeah. I think those are still X albums. was like. I thought X was something really good. Like, yeah. And then that's I feel, what, I what like today you feel he's just kind of desaturated. Yeah. No, he's just, yeah. Kind of, just turned just like over saturated. Real, like, yeah. He's like he's over-saturated. everything in pop. Yeah. That like I he's hate trying to stay pop. relevant. I feel yeah, like Ed Sheeran is similar to. Oh, I gotta be careful. This could come back to bite me. I love Eminem, by the way, but he's very Eminem these days in the I sense agree. that, like, he's doing a lot to stay relevant. Oh I, I love you were like straight on, like, I agree, Adam. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, I agree with that as well. Um, but uh, my own, actually, my own music, I would have liked. Um, like, I mean, I would have listened to. <laughs> I listened to a bit of everything. Um, I would go from like um, listen to like really heavy kind of metal electronic music from Doom by yeah, Nick Gordon. Yeah. Really intense music. Um, great for if you're really angry. Um, I then I'd go into a lot of rap. Like I like J Cole. You know. Um, I like say NF. Um, NF is a great artist. <laughs> NF is a like I feel like you'd like NF. I like NF. I think of I NF. know one of his songs, but I probably know more. It's probably the one song that everyone knows. There's, it's there's one yeah. where he like even references like oh, everyone knows this song about yeah. me. Um, but NF is like really kind of like into his own mental health. And I think it's a really interesting way to contrast his, his, uh, our producer's waving at us. Hello. No, I just rented him. And he oh, you waved at me. <laughs> well, at least we got it on camera. And then I don't know, like EDM music and like electronic music is really interesting, especially when it's like, I, like, I don't know, cyberpunk style music oh, and yeah, like, yeah, like, like real daft punk like side. He- synth. Like kind of just heavy synth music. Yeah, yeah. heavy synth music. Fuck so maybe that's just me. It's either heavy, heavy metal, heavy rap or he- it's everything's heavy. heavy. So there you go. <laughs> Nothing is light. But I feel like, yeah, we all have our little interesting pieces, which is good. You know, that makes us all individuals. Adam, can I say something to you? Yes. You need to work on your segues between topics. My segue is? Yeah. Why? Because, like, every time we're on the show, it's, like, so that's, like, like really great that, like, everyone <laughs> has, like, come to a conclusion here. Now, the next topic, Hugh, do you want to get this one? Or yeah. Do you want to continue talking? Actually, then? I Go have on. something to say about music. Okay. Does yeah. anyone like country music? <laughs> um, so, Garth Brooks I, is coming back. I knew I, knew I was going to get a response like this. I had a weird country music phase when I was, like... 13 or so like i was obsessed mm, my dad used likes yeah. a lot of country music i know it's a very thing people don't expect i can rock with it i just don't listen to it no i don't like... listen to it anymore though yeah. but like, yeah if it, like... was, if it was on a room like if it was playing you'd listen to it mm. i listened to an artist you know lord heron he sang the night we met no. oh like, yes like, yeah. from he's like, reasons why yeah, yeah he's like borderline country music I'm uh, kind of ashamed of it, but at the same time, I can't stop listening to him. He'll yeah. be one of my favorites as well. But I'm like, this is ju- this is country music, but I love it. Cool. Ooh, I actually have a question. What is like your guilty pleasure in music? Like, it's like <laughs> something you don't want people to know, but then it's like you um, just love it. Like, I feel like we need to go to you for that one. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> there's something buried. Um, oh, there's like like there's beneath like the a, iceberg or something. There's like a couple things. Um, I know that we're all gonna admit on mic. It's like uh, our guilty pleasure we don't want to talk like, about on like, a live podcast. There's like, okay, well, guilty enough that you're like not 
I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. But there's like one <laughs> or two K-pop songs that just like fucking slap. No, I, I, oh yes, Amy I always say that. Yeah, I know, K- but it's like it's like, but also like K-pop does slap. K-pop it. does. <laughs> I know, but I'm meant to be an angry white guy, so I'm not meant to like this. You're an impressive white man. <laughs> no, no, You're not allowed to like that. You, Vimi, you call our him producer, a Nazi. Sorry, our producer I'll has stop, told us stop. to stop uh, to stop like calling each other like bad things, especially him, because I call him like homophobic and a Nazi. And stuff. He's not. He's, He's not, not, by the way. She's just like but, instant regret coming on this. Uh, Adam, <laughs> Adam, you're a straight white male. Uh, yeah, Adam, Adam's a straight white male. So he, I think he just wants to apologize for a second. <laughs> Hang on, I need to make a black and white style video, and I just need to be like, oh, I'm just, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so, so many people died. Oh, um, I'm sorry, man. But hey, great concert. You know my fans. Great concert. <laughs> yeah, great concert. You guys listen to Travis Scott? I never listened to him. Yeah, you know who he is. I, have, though. I know who yeah, he is. Yeah. Everyone knows who he is. This Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> everyone knows now. I dabble. I really, I really want. <laughs> I dabble. I, I really want to get his, his action figures because yeah. I always see oh, like yeah, people making is... the things like his character tie-in, like shoelaces and stuff like that. And um, I know now. Go back to Eminem. Actually, he's released. Don't know why. Like little figures. Like he has a slim shady one with a chainsaw. Money. Um, and uh, yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> so I'm kind of like, do I want to get an Eminem one and a Travis Scott one just for the crack to just have them on the show? You can set them up a little stop. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we have cameras now to see that. Yeah. <laughs> We set up a little stop motion so they're like fighting. That's what it is, though. <laughs> if you look at the the advertisement for his his figures, they're just stop motion of the figures just moving Travis towards the Scott camera. Use trample. And it's a black and white filter, and he's coming towards <laughs> the camera, being like, "I'm so sorry." <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, we weekly slay him on this show. Yeah, we do. Kind of, we bring up Elon Musk and Travis Scott like every. No week. Elon Musk today, please. So, what do you think about Elon <laughs> what? Musk? No, <laughs> Elon please. Musk. Are yeah. you watching the Tesla stock? Um, not really. Do you That's, trade stocks? Nobody <laughs> cares. So, I think boo. we should. Uh, I'll tell Elon Musk boo to his face. <laughs> um, so, Fran doesn't like Elon Musk. I <laughs> know. <laughs> um, I didn't mind him until we started talking about him a lot. Every week. Yeah. Every, every week. week. Um, okay. Well. I think we're going to move on to our interview segment. Uh, if that's Good if segue, that was, Hugh. Great yeah, job. <laughs> At least it wasn't the Good awkward job. kind of... Okay, so Adam, oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, I think we should move on. Man. Um, that was so anyway. great. Anyway. Right. So we, we do. We've got a couple of questions for We've, you. Uh, yeah. oh, sh- I've been signed out. I'll answer the first one. Or answer. Well, I'll I just answer the first conte- one. I want to give context with the fact that... Um, these are like these questions are all on a Google Doc that we're all on, and the heading for this, which Adam made, is just questions for your one. No, I didn't <laughs> make that. I don't know if I don't know if I did that or Aiden did that or you did that, but no, I came I on and that you. was there. But I put in um, Adam and you. Yes, I'm stealing your work. <laughs> Let's change it. She deserves more questions for that. your okay. one. I didn't put that in. I swear <laughs> to God. For Katie, our so it was you then. Now don't we have it. It's questions for Katie. Because even he guys. said it was have, you. I, I don't know. I don't I know. People that. are pointing at me. I don't know why I didn't do this. Um, the, glove, the, glove, the glove doesn't fit. Right. Okay. So the first oh, question goodness. on our list is um, How did you get into playing music? Well, I we've been playing music our whole life, really. Um, my dad, like my whole family, is like really musical. So okay. we've been singing our whole lives. And you found my sister. She like picked up the guitar when she was like eight or nine, so she always played the guitar, and then I played the guitar as well, but I'm not that good. And then I think when we were in first year, so like I don't know, the quick maths, a few years ago. A few years ago, yeah. <laughs> years ago. <laughs> yeah, right. twenty years. More, for more than Adam. one, anyway. <laughs> that was twenty years ago for Adam, guys. Yeah, yeah, because I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, Adam is seventy-four years old. Oh, so this interview is about me now. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, we, my family were like, play together. These are so much better together. So we're like, okay, fine. Because we never wanted to sing together because we're like, oh, I don't want to be seen with her, you know? Is there like a love-hate relationship there between you and your sister? Yeah, yeah. You definitely. You, you should guys see are us. twins, right? Yeah. Yeah, are you identical or fraternal? Fraternal. Oh, okay. Very different. I, rem- I remember I'm first. Better one, though. Okay. Oh, the, <laughs> that's the, all that there we go. Oh, <laughs> I remember. It feels like a biased opinion. We're no, but I remember time. like with, with the... It's it might sound really weird, but I remember with the height difference, I was yeah. like, "Oh, they're just sisters," but I didn't know you were twins. Yeah. And I was like, "Ah, ah. <laughs> okay." Yeah, she's like a foot taller than me. No, oh. <laughs> so. I have witnessed them in person. There is a difference in height. Oh yeah, but you're both musical. That's yeah, what's important. That's what's important. Um, so the second one is then, how long have you roughly been making music with your sister? Well, we like just, just got the answer to that. There. <laughs> oh, we did. Yeah, um, of course. So you said that. I mean, Hugh, you can ask the next one. Yeah, now. I think. 
You need to take a breather, old man. <laughs> I need to take my um, pills. So I mean, like, like, so when you started getting into it, was it just like practicing covers, and then like, did you go out busking? Yeah, we have been busking. We don't really do it as much anymore, but like when we were, I think, fifteen or sixteen, we took up busking in Dublin. Yeah. And everyone loved us because we were twins. I played the bear on, he played the guitar, and we did harmonies and stuff. So I was like, oh my god, these guys are great. I yeah. Know. What can I say? But was it like hard to like go out there and kind of push yourself into? Yeah, them? like it yeah. probably would have been a little bit difficult at first, maybe. Yeah, like at the start, it it was weird, like people just watching us and us just playing for them. I don't know. It's really weird. Yeah. And everyone thinks it's going to be really nerve-wracking, but it's not that bad. Like, a lot of the time, we always mess up on our words and stuff. So it's, like, literally like rehearsing, but you're just in front of a crowd, and they give you money for it. And, and oh, that's good. That's, good. That's, that's a bonus. Yeah. That's and a bonus. I only really, you know, if you screw up, like, they don't know. Do you know? Yeah, Cause they we, don't know what's going on in your yeah, head. Yeah, exactly. We kind of just laugh along. We just yeah. look at each other. Like, uh, we fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you said you played the bear on. Can you play yeah. the drums? Um, no, I wish I could. I tried to pick up the drums, but... It didn't work? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ask my friends, I'll tell you honestly what they think of my drum playing. It's not, not that great. Um, that actually is one of our questions later on. So aside from the Baron, uh, what other instruments do you play? I play the guitar. Um, I haven't played in a while, as I said, but I play the guitar and the piano. Oh, cool. And I was like doing lessons, but... You know, I don't really like doing the classical stuff. I kind of like just playing yeah, my own chords. Well, but we have a yeah. piano actually in the in room. In the room, and yeah. so I was playing it before we might, the episode. Yeah. I was playing it before the episode. Yeah. Fran is a bit of a, a, a pianist herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> anyway, now that the obvious joke is out of the way. Yeah. Um, so guys. I think a, a very interesting question is, um, and how would you felt like your family has supported the both of you throughout all this? My family have literally, like, all they want for me and Aoife is to be happy with our music. And they are always supporting us. Like, whenever we learn a new song, we always go and play it for them. And, like, I'd say nine out of time, nine out of ten times, they would definitely cry. And Oh, know, yeah? Oh, so oh, they, 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 they get quite thing. emotional. The way you yeah. kind of flex that, though, you're like, nine out of ten times, like, I make my family cry. <laughs> Because I have, I have, I, so in a good way. Like, yeah. Like yeah. obviously, I know, I know your family very well, and like yeah. I've seen your dad play guitar as well, and he's yeah. a, he's a very good weird. guitarist as well. What? It's just a bit weird. To say. Why is it a bit weird? I know your family very context, well. Context: <laughs> I know Katie outside this the yeah. the, the podcast. I did not know that. Yeah. So now we know. So make okay, things so weird, you. The secrets out. The secrets out. Yeah, that's how we got it. This connection. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Um, do you want to ask the uh, Fran? Do you want to ask the next one, or do you want to ask the one underneath um, the last one I asked? Oh yeah, so um, um, <laughs> oh my god, why did he just screw me up? Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna say yeah. So not many people know, but you guys were actually on The Voice. Yeah. 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 Do you I'd say a lot about... of people know. Do you wanna... <laughs> From I the don't voice. think anyone in the chorus knows. I didn't. N- no, they will know. Yeah. Nobody in the Everyone, course. guys, we have a talented person in our we course, do. guys. We yeah. do, Anyway, so do you want to talk about your experience on The Voice and how, like, <laughs> that whole process began? Yeah. Um. So we got a, a message, a DM on Instagram on our Twins account of someone like, I'm a researcher for a show, would love you to come and do oh. a thing. So my dad was like, I'll look into that. And turns out it was a researcher from The Voice. So we're like, we might as well go for it. So we did. <laughs> like you do. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. why not? We just why not? We'll go for it. We didn't think anything would come of it at all. We just did it for the crack, and then so we did like a pre audition in Dublin, which yeah. we me and Eva didn't think it went very well, but apparently it did because we got you. Through. You were on live TV. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you know, and then um, a few weeks later, this was at the I think January of 2019, and then at around June we went over to London for a callback and like we did a few songs for the actual produce producers of the show mm-hmm. um again we didn't think anything would come after that we were just like great a trip to london how cool is that like and then i think it was around august just before we went back to school they were like oh we want you t- to like be on the blinds and we were like oh my god it's so cool so we couldn't tell anyone they were like you have to keep it a secret so nobody in the school knew that me and Aoife were literally every weekend for I'd say around eight to ten weeks we're traveling over to London Mm -hmm. and like Manchester like rehearsing and stuff like I couldn't do anything with my friends because we were always over in London and people like what are they doing was it difficult to like not tell people yeah it was really hard but then 
I don't know how it came out, but just before it aired, like we did the blind auditions and then we got through to the battles and that was all around October and November of 2019. Mm -hmm. And then it aired in 2020 and like that was when people found out. It was like a week before the thing aired was when everyone found out. Oh, wow. So it wow. was it was weird not telling anyone. So Respect. even your friends were like, "Where are they going?" So they're just like hopping on planes. Yeah. Did they know you were going to like England, or did they just think you weren't here? <laughs> yeah, I think I think I told my close friends. Don't tell the producers of the voice, please. Because yeah, because we like, won't say anything. Don't say anything to them. No. Um, <laughs> I'm totally don't just say it. Man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I told my close friends. They were like, "Oh my god, you're gonna get to meet Tom Jones. That's so cool." Ooh. And I was like, Did yeah, you? I guess. Yeah, I met Tom Jones. We made him who was, laugh. Who was the um, coaches for that season? The coaches yeah. were uh, Megan Trainer, Ollie Murs, Will I Am, and Tom Jones. Okay. We can talk a little bit more in detail about that in a minute. We're just going to reset the cameras yeah. and continue. Is that cool. okay? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so talk to us a little bit about the judges. Did, who did you get to meet personally? So we did, we were doing our song, and just after Aoife's part was when Megan turned around and she was all happy and we were like what the fuck just happened like <laughs> it was mad um but then at the end of the song they all turned around and like they were all really nice like um megan was like so happy like she's such a happy-go-lucky person like she's really so humble yeah as well mm. so she's really nice and tom jones is literally such a sweetheart like i just wanted to give him a hug i did give him a hug so you did give him a hug. Yeah. Oh, was, so was it was it seen yeah. on camera or was this like off stage? Um, I I don't know. I can't remember. Looking up the clip. Was, yeah, looking up him. <laughs> just Katie it hugging there. Tom Jones. Um, I that was probably like an amazing moment for the both of you yeah. to have that. Like it's so it was so surreal. And then like we got back to the hotel room and we were like, what happened? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd imagine it was probably a bit emotional. It was like. I was like I don't know if they turned around I don't know what I'm going to do I don't know how I'm going to react but like you just keep singing you're just like oh hey and then it's it, it like sets in after right. yeah. you played you're like she actually turned around like what the fuck and Tom Jones said that he wished he turned around and we are like yeah you should have you yeah. should have Tom well, they yeah. could have stolen you you missed out Tom like, yeah. hopefully you're watching this Tom yeah um, <laughs> hi Tom Jones <laughs> so Hugh there's another question that uh, you can ask yeah, there yeah okay so uh <laughs> So, you know, like like these reality shows, I actually knew a guy who was in my class when I was in like third year and he went on X Factor. Oh, you knew a guy in class? Uh, you had a friend? It, I wasn't friends with him. He doesn't like <laughs> No, um, I don't have friends, Adam, Jesus. So, yeah, they didn't do. Sorry, sorry. So, no, sorry, I knew this guy, he went on the X Factor. Um, and like these, all these like reality shows where they're like singing or performing, uh, it's like kind of well known at this point that they make you sign a contract that mm. where uh, they just fucking steal your money even yeah. if you don't win. Did did this so happen? What, did that happen? <laughs> Exploit. It the actually voice. didn't. Like I oh. was kind of surprised. There was like a legal thing. Like we did have like a like waiver. NDA. Yeah, it was like I don't know. We had to sign stuff. My dad signed it. N so no NDA. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't like the drug. <laughs> no, a, a non-disclosure. <laughs> NDA. <laughs> yeah, we had. I think we had to sign. I can't really remember. It was a very long time. It wasn't that long. I just don't have a very good memory. We're just like we're um, just like. Tell us. Tell us <laughs> all we need to Where know. Where is she? <laughs> Where is she? Um, they actually like they paid for everything, so they didn't really take our money. They just gave you money. Yeah, they just it they just gave us. Out, out of curiosity, yeah. yeah what? No, I know this is very invasive, but like, what did you guys get from the voice as well? Aside from obviously the the enjoyment out of what yeah. out of what you did, like, was there? Did what they, did they give you? <laughs> what did, did they? You, you don't have to answer that. I know that might sound very kind of like. <laughs> no. What did you get? Tell me. Um, I we got like a. It was kind of like a coupon thing for this um, like recording studio, I think. Oh. So oh, we got to cool. like record a song and. Or we recorded like our own song with the people we record with, and then they released it on that platform. Nice. So it went up on Spotify and all those kind of platforms. Oh, all nice. those, all those platforms. Oh, you yeah. know, you know, yeah, Spotify, all the, all the Apple niche Apple markets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, and there's a, okay, well, that that's that's pretty cool actually. Have you heard of Do yeah. Your Thing? Well, Do Your Thing. Do you? <laughs> no, do you, you need to you need to re-ask the no. question. She didn't hear okay, the first part. Okay, okay. Have you heard of Do Your Thing? No. Okay, so that's an issue. So she obviously doesn't watch our podcast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll go watch them all when I get home. Oh, the shit. 
And we have that on camera. <laughs> we, we <allow> <laughs> I mean, um, we're just gonna get in and send that clip to you every day. And uh, just yeah, remind I'm me. the shit. I'm the shit. <laughs> I'm the shit. I'm the shit. I'm the shit. When they start you, keep doing this, I'm the shit. Just ignore it. Just I, I'm the okay. no. I'm, so like I, I just need your attention. Stop, I'm stop. the shit. <laughs> anyway, so okay. to clarify, to give you a bit of context, yeah, um, last week we were talking about a gorillas track called. That was like uh, more like three weeks. That was like three weeks, weeks ago. ago yeah. yeah, no, but I'm old. I've Alzheimer's. I don't remember this. Um, so it's called Do You Think by the gorillas and they collabed with converse uh yeah if i'm if i'm not mistaken yeah, yeah. he introduced me to the song we ended up loving the song um and there's like a specific what seven eight minutes of the 13 minute version mm -hmm. where andre 3000 just keeps screaming on the shit he says it 70 times we you counted. Count it. Seven it. I counted. Oh, okay. No. Um, okay. So you might enjoy I'm it. That's our recommendation. Yeah, I'll go home and play a clip for this. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's gonna we... play. He's gonna play a little clip here to give you an oh, example he... oh, of yeah. it. So you'll you'll be able to witness. Um, what do you think? Very quiet. Age. I'm the shit. Yeah. So anyway, it's much better when you're listening to it. <laughs> it's not from a producer booth. Okay. <laughs> but thank you, though. Um, have you ever done fentanyl? Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of our questions. That's, I'm just wondering. I actually had to Google what fentanyl was. Fentanyl, it's, a, it's an opiate. Uh, it's like morphine or heroin. Yeah, um, so um, that's, ever, we talk about drugs I here. I have never done drugs. You've never done? Okay, no. do you want to? Yes. No. The lynch is, okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, yes, that is going to get really put sorry. out of context. So, <laughs> Please forgive she me. She wants to do drugs. Oopsie Talking days directly is to you now, I'm sorry. I I'm really I'm, am. Yeah, uh, we can do Phantom Law. So, we um, can't do it on camera. <laughs> okay. um, do you plan on making any more songs? Um, yeah, we have a song which we're just kind of planning on releasing at some stage. We're not sure when, but we've just been so busy with like working and then college. We don't even have time to think about our music right now, but yeah. after christmas maybe when things start to settle down a wee bit then like we'll we'll be releasing more songs I, I can relate with you a lot on like you know your hobbies and your music and stuff like yeah. i'm in the same course as you so yeah. like i understand as well um is there any teaser <laughs> things you want to talk about in terms of well what did i say <laughs> I don't know. I was worried you were going to bring up your fucking yeah, shoes. Oh, yeah, I was about to. And I held myself back. <laughs> you were like, like, don't talk gonna, about the shoes again. He's going to do it. <laughs> um, so this is the thing. Play I talk about customs, shoes. everybody. For a guy that makes shoes, I'm like wearing boots all the time. I don't even wear my own. Yeah, they're my own fucking merch. pennies too. Um, what Adam, are you to say? Just plug yourself. You know you want it already. Just anyway, anyway. Is say, there, no, say it. Say the say Instagram. It. Say the Instagram. <laughs> Say it. Campus Customs. <laughs> anyway, um, is there any kind of teaser bits you could give us about the upcoming track? What's it about? A little hint from the title. Fentanyl. Fentanyl. That's my. Yeah, That's what you have to name about, the track. It's just about drugs. Um. You heard it first. <laughs> <laughs> There's not like that much. I think it was one that Aoife wrote like oh, okay. years ago, like when she was like twelve. You know, oh, when, when she was all sad about. About life, you know, life as a 12 year old <laughs> sad about being it's a 12 tough. year old it's tough in those sad days. about doing like friday tests in school <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's it, it rains called? today I can't, I can't even remember the name of it i don't know but it's you are missing it's a great promotional opportunity right now <laughs> this is horrible <laughs> Welcome to Hot Ones. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, okay, cool. Um, so we did ask, did you, did you play an instrument? And you told us, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, how did you come up with the lyrics or concept of um, your recent track, which has slipped my mind? Um, call It Fate. Call It Fate. Amazing track. Yeah, how did, you, how did you work around that concept or even the lyrics behind it? Well, to be honest, Aoife wrote it. And at first I was like, I don't really know what it's about. But it, like, it is easy kind of to figure out what it's about it's like just about society mm -hmm. and how everything is fake really society wow <laughs> it is <laughs> it's it's the um, producer do you do you we have do you have really that track um on standby <laughs> <Can> we... <laughs> Sorry, wait what's happening talking, he's fucking pissed off me because i did the joker voice <laughs> all the things attached to you um but maybe even if our producer could get a little clip of the song ready so maybe we, we could we could give people um and a sample of it we will leave as a link in the description so people can actually go and find it which it yeah. is pretty which, good i've listened yeah, to it everyone should it's go good. listen it's to really it <laughs> i do we're feel... all fangirling about it in the bathrooms today oh. yeah well, i was not yeah, in the bathrooms today <laughs> well i'd hope you're not in the girl's bathroom <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> he's like wrong bathroom I, um whoops i forgot but, that i referenced oj earlier and our producer texted me about it oh jeez. oj simpson <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> yeah, oh, I made a reference. Guys, to another there. lawsuit. Here we go. Uh, oopsie, Here we go. Defamation of so character. Have you guys seen when he came back to Twitter? Sorry, we're going like totally <laughs> off topic. <laughs> OJ Simpson. Did you see Twitter. when he came back to Twitter? Because uh, he was I'll like, a few minutes. He, he was like, oh, like, he put up a video and he was like, hey guys, I'm not in prison anymore. And there's a few people who've been saying some slanderous things about me. Just know I'm coming for you. <laughs> and it's like, you're OJ Simpson. You can't say that. That is, that is not good. <laughs> anyway, getting back on track, we have a little bit of a sample here from uh, the track. If call our producer would call it fame. You know I, I do want to say it's been it. years and I haven't seen much of them. But that's the thing about this life. Everything is fake. But they call it by different Very sounds thank very professional. Thank you very much. Where, where did you guys record it? We record with these guys called um, Beardfire Music, mm -hmm. and they we like do all our recording with them. Like they're really good. They always like give us really good advice on like what where what like the next step should be for our music. Nice. So like we work with them. They record our songs and they like help us release our songs and everything. So that's who like we record with. And do they work with other artists as well? Yeah, they work with a lot of like. Are they like a label? Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. They're, so you so have they, a record deal, guys. Yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll oh, need to. Yeah, you're, like, you're actually fucking. We'll, professional. we'll need to look into that ourselves. Well. <laughs> um, okay, so here's a question that I just came up with. It's off script. Um, oh, never God, goes well. Be careful. <laughs> this never ends well. Um, so. I'll call this faith. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, you guys post like a lot of covers to your YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, so, like, do you prefer doing the covers or the original music? Like, I think I prefer doing the covers. Like, yeah. covers are just easier, and writing songs is a bit of a pain. But, yeah, like, sometimes I do, actually, I'm not going to lie, I listen to our song, and I'm like, this is such a bop. Like, this is pretty good. You pretty listen to your own music. Yeah. 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 I always actually I always was going to ask though. that, because I always wonder if artists listen to their own they music. Um, I... <laughs> Not to make it about me, but like I've made what like maybe one or two tracks and I've listened back to them and I'm kind of like, it's it. I thought it was good at the time, but it's cringe listening <laughs> back to my own music. But you know, like I mean, I'm sure you're the same. Where like you probably listen back to your music and you're like, oh, it's really good. But there's parts like you hear that you're like, maybe that could have been different. Yeah. And then you play it to other people and then they're they're astounded by it and you're kind of just like, yeah, yeah, but it could be better. <laughs> yeah, like you know, earlier when you were talking about the guilty pleasures, I was like, my the guilty pleasure is my own song. <laughs> Um, our that, producer, yeah, yeah our producer wants to let you know he really enjoyed oh. your song. Um, so there you go. I don't think there should be a guilty pleasure about artists like listening to their own work or no, enjoying like their own work. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like, your work. Like I reason. watch, my, I yeah. watch my own videos. You know. So yeah, me too. I watch back on my TikToks and I'm like, I'm so funny. Like, I, <laughs> so, you know. I try to do that, but I'm not funny. So <laughs> how just, do people not like me? <laughs> like, look at this content. Um, yeah, no, but I think I remember there's like a, a thing I saw from like Donald Glover where he was like talking about listening to his own music, like Childish Gambino in the car. Mm -hmm. And someone was like, You're listening to your own music in the car, like, the fully yourself. It's like, Yeah, you but don't it's, I don't know. I think it's just why being is confident. It, you don't see a Subway employee like making a sandwich. You're like, Ooh, you've been you're fully yourself it? there. Wow, really? Well, it's probably full of ham and. You know, cheese. And... Anyway, so I think we've got kind of one last question, and then we're going to move on to um, our favorite segment that we all love. And I, I hope you all have one ready. So the Woo! last one. So the last one I think would be really actually good to ask you are um, who are like your musical inspirations. So I'd say our main one is probably Hosier. Yeah, we've loved like we've been. Yeah, I kind of feel that. Yeah. I kind of feel that from thinking about. Yeah. Uh, I'll just to let you know, like all I'm your so friends are in the booth here. as well. For yeah. those who can't see, I see them. all our I friends see. are there, so um, they can probably hear a bit us. Of an yeah. Not, not if you can hear us. There yeah, we go. Yeah, they can hear us. Okay, cool. That's, that's good to know. <laughs> so Hosey so is one of your is probably our favorite. Uh, we also like if you're kind of want to go for the sisters kind of aspect, mm -hmm. we listen to First Aid Kit. I don't know if you used No, I don't know kid. First Aid Kit. They're like two sisters and they do harmonies and stuff. So my dad's oh, like, oh, okay. you're so like them. Um, they're kind of country, like a little bit country. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't do really you know like like Taylor Swift AJ? style country? Mm, no. no. <laughs> She's like, no. 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 Okay. They're like sisters. Bad reference, well. Adam. Yeah, I don't know them. <laughs> Fucking Adam. Um, <laughs> straight white male. God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Hudson Taylor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they'd yeah. be one of our um, main influence as well. Funny enough, actually. Now, not now with, with this haircut, but... um. 
someone used to compare me to one of the members of Bloods and Tales nice. in terms see. of appearance. Yeah. And I can't, I can't remember which guy it was, but I was like, no, I don't, no. You no, did. and I remember looking them up and going, you know, I dig this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind being compared to this. <laughs> anyway, right. You um, do actually look like him. Like, when, now which, that you've said that. Which one is it? It's, you know, the blonde one, Alfie, the smaller kind of... Apparently, so I look <laughs> like Alfie from screen. Hudson Taylor. Okay. Yeah. Editor put a picture of him on screen. Like right put there. it up here. Hang on, we're going to... Aiden, do like a Do you see the look like... <laughs> I'm imagining there's one put, here. Put a split right screen there. on. Right here. Maybe over there as look, well. Uh, put it here. Okay, one, okay one and light. now it's back over here. Okay, it's, it's <laughs> moving back and forth there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, we're going to move on to our final segment, which we better have our music cued. Um, so, we're going to move on to Fact or Cap. Now, to explain to our guests and to our viewers, if you're new, um, Fact or Cap is essentially a segment where we ask a question and the other people have to guess whether it is Fact or Cap, i.e. true or false. So, Fran, since you're always amazing at these, why don't you go first today? Because you always have one prepared. Fran just had the most <laughs> murderous stare um, I've ever seen. <laughs> So, Adam, what's your factor, Cap? <laughs> right, okay, so we're going to do musical-inspired ones to make oh. it kind of interesting. Yeah, why not? Keep it okay, the same. Okay, cool. We forgot so, to mention um, Taxi Cube. <laughs> all right, I have one ready. Cue the music, and we'll, we'll uh, give an example. Is this an okay. example, or is this your one? No, this is my one. Okay, okay. so... Factor Cap. I can play the drums. You. Uh, call it Fact. Fact. Yeah. Fran. I'm calling fact as well. Kaden. I'd say fact. All right, drum roll, please. It's a fact. Good job, Yay! everyone. Now, yeah, professionally, but like... You told me this it. before. I know, we and also, it's more about memory. It's kind of like <laughs> I ask these questions like, do you know me? Oh, wait, does that have to be about us, though? Oh, it can be like anything, okay, really. Okay, because it's but... musical inspired. I got one ready. Okay. Uh, Brockhampton uh, was formed on a uh, Kanye West for a fan forum called Kanye to the in 2015. Fact or Oh, fuck, we don't have the music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. No, we're, we're camp, waiting. It's and the music's like, really, like, I can't even hear it. <laughs> it's too, no, it's fine. It's, it's got, Factor Cap. Factor Cap, go on, Factor ask, ask it again. Brockhampton was formed on a Kanye West fan forum in 2015. That sounds really specific. I'm going to say yeah. that's a fact. Yeah. 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 Okay, drum roll. All right. It's a fact. It is a fact. There it's, a fact. Yeah. It is a fact. Yeah. it's a fact. I feel like a lot of these are a fact. One day yeah. we're going to get a, a fact. One day we're going to get a cap. All right. So, ladies, which one wants to go first? All right. I'll take Don't it Don't take away. that out of context. Um, fact or a cap? <laughs> Sorry. You're <laughs> doing, so, doing so good. <laughs> I hate you. I hate Aiden's you. gonna have fun with that later. Fact or cap, um, Camila Cabello is in my top five most listened to artist of all time on my Spotify. Oh. I'm gonna say that's cap. I don't know, I think it's fact. I'd say fact. Drum well. It's Cap. Yes. It's, oh. it's Taylor Swift, it. actually, which I was shocked about. Oh. <laughs> no, was she, like, she's still a good artist. I though. was like, I was so surprised when I saw that. I was All like, right. there's and no way. Katie. And, and I guess okay. you have Hi. to ask one now. Okay. Uh, do I have to wait for the music? Okay. There so, we Adam, I feel like you'll know the answer to this one. Okay. So, it's kind of between don't you two. It. Right, I'll exclude myself. Yeah. Um, maybe you don't, I don't know. But... Call it faith. Me and my sister once made Ollie Murs cry. See, like I'm not answering this one. No, I think that's fact. I don't know why. But <laughs> he like, seems just, a bit emotional. He does, and it's like also like, why the fuck? How would you come up with that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm creative mind, anyways. So yeah, no, it's gotta be fact. It's gotta be. She could be lying, but I think it's a fact. I think, Maybe I think Ollie, Ollie Murs Murs made you cry. No, I think oh, she yeah. made yeah. Oliver yeah. cry. He makes like, everyone I can cry. see him. I just cry about him. I can see him just falling, just <laughs> shedding tears. <laughs> All right, drum roll for the for the final answer. It is. It is fact. There we yes. go. Yes. And I do you remember you saying this. <laughs> what the fuck is the context? I wish I could make him cry. <laughs> well, me and Aoife are obviously twins, and yeah. Ollie Murs has a twin. And he does. Yes. 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 Ollie Murs has a twin who he's not very close with close with he's not on good terms with mm -hmm. um and basically him seeing me and Aoife sing together made him very upset 
And this was on The Voice and we didn't know until I our can't. episode went out. Mm. We didn't know he cried. It came out, but actually, I think it came out like a week before Ollie Murr's crying but oh. from the twins. And then there was another article from somewhere that was like, Ollie Murr's wants to get back in contact with his twin after seeing emotional. That's badass. So you two really wow, sparked so something. Wow, so you guys out. got like yeah. a whole headline. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's badass. Wow. That's so cool. It's like my, my flex. But like, fuck being on The Voice. I made Ollie Murr's cry. Our producer thought, like, said they should have paid you. <laughs> they should have. I mean, I'm like... I thought you were just going to say, like, I beat the shit at Ollie Murs or something, which I would have gone. See, I should have made Ollie Murs that, cry. See, that would I be your sang, news title. Skin. I sang Troublemaker by Ollie Murs in my school talent show. Hey, there we go. <laughs> and, like, and then did you class? cry? Did you cry after it? No, but I should have made him cry because yeah. that performance that was, was, that was, an amazing was something. Well, see, that would be the difference in your news title to hers. It'd be, <laughs> it's a tall white man beats the shit out of Ollie Murs. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Regrets coming on show. Um, um, I think I think that's that's everything. I think that's our today. show. Yeah. So look, thank you for coming on. Yeah, we're gonna it's been a we're gonna uh, roll out the red carpet. Tea. This is completely original. We're gonna roll out the red carpet tea yeah, here. Okay, you got this, this camera. You got this camera. Yeah. Say what you want to say. Promote what you want to promote anything to the people. All. Go for it. Just don't like. Don't say anything offensive. She's not. Yeah, she's don't not don't like don't you. think like you. Okay. Damn. I, I don't know. Just. I'm not very good with, you know, improv, as That's, you probably know. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing good. You're doing Am good. I? It's not the worst. <laughs> you I, could do better. You're not, you're, not the, you're not the worst guest we've had. Oh, that means... Because you're the only guest we've had. Yeah. <laughs> you technically well, are. Yeah, anything but, um, you want to shout out, promote any future content or anything you just want to say in general, just okay. shout it out. Um, Water's Edge, official, we do weddings. If you're getting married, if anybody's not getting married, we they, sing at weddings. They want cake. Me though. and Adam. Yeah. Yeah. And they must be fed. I guys. think me and Adam should and be Aoife, married. And Aoife, shout out to Aoife as oh, well. Oh yeah, poor Aoife can't be here. Yeah, yeah. but fuck you Aoife. Oh. Don't say that, <laughs> we love you. Lynch is like, I'm sorry you. again. <laughs> But we got the better amazing. twin. <laughs> yeah, Eva is going to be so sad she missed this. Eva's going to be watching back but like, I hate Adam now. Yeah. I am on crack cocaine. And um, this has been our season finale. <laughs> of season one of the tequila cap show Thank and i am not on crack cocaine uh, neither am i <laughs> me neither I, no uh, she's on fe- 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 fentanyl fentanyl <laughs> uh it's an opiate uh so thank you for listening for to season one and hopefully we'll see you in season two be sure to stay tuned have a great christmas clothes um, will be removed happy new year <laughs> yes. i didn't need to say that uh yeah this has been hugh this has been Adam. And this has been Fran. Uh, oh, wait, we didn't brief you. Uh, we have like the same <laughs> where we go, and remember, like one of us says, and remember, and then everyone else goes, stop, stop the, the cap. cap. Like all oh, of us. So okay. this is okay. you, this is Adam, this is Fran, and okay. remember, stop the cap. So okay, keep this in. Okay. Why don't we say Aunt Katie? <laughs> and Katie? She's here as oh, well. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. This, has been, so, this has been Hugh. This has been Adam. This, this has been, been Fran. <laughs> okay, okay, from the top. All right, one more time. We're going to go. No, I think we go. Yeah. We're going in a circle. Okay. This has been Hugh. This has been Adam. This has been Katie. And this has been Frank. And remember, stop, stop the, the cap! cap.